If you are looking for some easy and unique dishes you can throw together to entertain your crowd this summer, we know just the chef to help. You see him right here, but uh, he got his first taste in the culinary business from his dad, world-class chef Jean George, and now he is taking the culinary world by storm in his own right. Yes, his most recent restaurant, My Day, opened this year and is best described as a Balinese beach party, Ooh. which sounds really amazing on a lot of fronts. Fancy. Joining <laughs> us now to get the party started with his summer entertaining recipes, welcome chef Cedric. Von Gersten. Thanks Woo! so much for being with us. Thank you, thank you for having me. So this first one that we're making is a tomato summer salad. That's correct. So right now this is, this is full season. So we're going to do tomato salad. We're going to be using heirloom tomato salad, which, we, which you can find at the farmer's market. Okay. What's different about those tomatoes compared to regular tomatoes, as you can see, they're not very perfect. I'll be careful with the knives. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're not very perfect, but that's what makes it so perfect yes, is that they are very ripe, they're very juicy, there's a lot of meat into it, mm -hmm. um, and they're very seasonal. And they all come with different forms and colors. So right now with those tomatoes, they're washed already. Okay. We're going to cut them, and we can start cutting it into slices. I mean, nothing, you know, can do slices, dices, wedges, whatever. Your preference and for a tomato exactly. would be. Exactly. We also have a little bit of uh, smaller uh, tomatoes here. Okay. Nice. And then we just dump those into the bowl. We're going to make the vinaigrette first. Ooh. So we have a little bit of sherry vinegar here. We're going to do equal part of vinegar and olive oil. There we go. This we I like can to, do. It's uh, pouring. That's There's easy. Nothing major. <laughs> you can whisk yeah. if oh, you want. Whisk. Yeah, right. look. A little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt, a little pinch. Look and at me being a sous chef. I like to always put a little Thai chili or a chili in Ooh, it. So a little, a little, kick. little kick. Exactly. But it's not there spicy. We go. There is. I mean, if you eat a lot of it, it will be very spicy, okay. but we just put a little bit. Okay. Uh, and now we're ready to put the salad together. Uh, so we're using here some labneh, which is a um, thicker version yogurt, and it gives a little creaminess to the dish. Uh, I'm going to put it on the bottom of the plate. There you go. I'm watching so I can figure but out how to make this pretty for myself. Just kind of like smearing it around with a spoon. It's all about presentation. All about it. You eat with your eyes first, right? And then we have the tomatoes. I'm going to put the larger tomato on the base first, on the bottom. I mean, it almost looks like a avocado toast, but of t different tomatoes. Absolutely. Look at this. Very healthy, too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have this, cherry tomatoes, smaller. You can make it all randomly like this, but it all comes together at the very end. This is for somebody who really loves tomatoes. Yeah, and then you've got some seasonings for the top. So now we have some sumac, which is a spice from Middle East. And this is brings a little smokiness, less acidity also to the dish. It's not very spicy, but it, it gives a nice earthiness. Um, we have the spice on it, the vinaigrette that you just made. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cover the tomatoes with it. Fancy. There we go. A little salt. I like to use molten salt for the tomatoes, or finishing salt. Again, a couple slices of serrano chili pepper to give it a kick. You don't have to do that if you are sensitive to uh, spiciness. There you go. And shallots, uh, thinly sliced. Because they add some flavor. And a little crunch as well. And some basil. I have here some baby basil, oh, but you can use regular basil, opal basil. Because they're prettier. Pretty, and it, it gives a nice herbal notes to the dish. Now for those tomatoes over Next here. Sam and Christina, we don't have a lot of time. Tell me what we got. So here we have some bread, uh, fissile bread, which is a tiny little uh, baguette, but you can use regular baguette or sourdough bread. We made also a um, garlic butter, which has butter, some Thai, green Thai chili, garlic, parsley, cilantro. Somebody's thinking we of put it in just in tell salmon. <laughs> <laughs> which we put in the food processor. Okay. And this is what you get, and we're going to spread that onto the toast. And this will get in the boiler or toaster in the oven oh. until it's nice and golden and the garlic is cooked. You don't want to burn it. Okay. Uh, then we move into the trout, uh, the salmon, I'm sorry. The salmon here has, uh, has been diced, uh, okay. crudo. Uh, we made a ginger dressing which has some ginger, some lime, some um, palm sugar, some tomatoes, some fresno pepper, and we cook that in grapeseed oil okay. for five minutes until the ginger is tender, and it becomes a little pasty like that. Nice. We're going to add the trout to it. Oh. 
And mm. we probably won't be able to finish it, but we can show the finished product. Mm, absolutely. Right a little olive oil, a little salt. Mm -hmm. You put that on the crostini like this, a little bit of salmon mm -hmm. roe, some Thai basil on it, that and that's it. Nice. That well, it's been so fun having you. Delicious. Thank you so much. Oh, delicious. Over delicious. Here. The doctor says it's good. It's mm. good. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Cedric so right. von Gerson, thank, you, thank, thank, you, thank you, you so much for being with us. Thank you, thank and you. for today's recipes, go to goodmorningamerica.com slash food, or you can scan that QR code right there on your screen. It smells so good, too. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.